So, you want to make a transmission, but you never went to car school. Hey guys, one bet that's by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender 2.81, once again. And, um, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and make a cool motion graphic transition today using the holdout shader and the holdout shader alone. I love this thing so much, and I'm so excited to bring it to you once again today. So... Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna get started. I'm gonna go ahead and hit delete. I'm sorry, default cube. It's not your day. Delete on default cube. Grab our camera. Hit uh, Alt uh, G and Alt R to clear the location and rotation. R X 90. Left click to confirm that. Uh, 90 on our numpad, by the way. Uh, G Y to move our camera back. And we're gonna go ahead and select our camera and hit delete. I miss you. I miss, I miss uh, back in the day before there was an infinite grid. I would go hit G Y and move the camera back behind the grid. I remember, I miss that. Um, zero to go into our cam into our camera's view on our numpad. Zero on the numpad. Hit uh, Shift A to add in a mesh plane and hit R X ninety and then hit S and scale that up and then S X to scale it up on the X axis. Now we have this plane that is covering our camera and we have a little bit of a padding, a little safe zone here around the camera just in case it might go out. It won't, but just in case. Um, we're going to go ahead and, and also duplicate this. This uh, Actually, we'll, we'll just add a new one. Hit Shift A, and we'll add in a new plane instead of using the same one we already have. Hit G, Y to move it up just a little bit, and then R, X, 90 to rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis. Now, I want to do the same thing we did with the other one, but I'm going to just scale it up in general. So hit S to scale it up, like really big, like this, really big. And then hit R, X, R Y, 45. So we'll rotate it 45 degrees on the Y axis. I want to, I want, I want it to be a little, a little less slanted than that. So we'll hit R Y and we'll just kind of rotate like that. So I'm looking at this edge right here. I don't want that edge to be that slanted. So I'm going to go R Y, just move it like that. Just a slight slant, just a little slight slant, you know. Um, and then I'm going to hit uh, zero to go into our camera's view and then G X and we'll just move this over like this. So I'm going to hit uh, G Z to move this down a little bit and then G X. All right, there we go. So now you can see this uh, plane coming in is kind of going to act as our transition so you see the little line that's kind of forming here so if I move this out of the camera's view like this um, I want to go ahead and go to the material tab and hit new and and change this from principal BSDF to hold out now I want to select our actual plane the plane back here and then uh, downsize this and and select the default material change this from principal BSDF to emission and then change the color to like blue or something just blue doesn't matter uh, then we'll select our plane once again our holdout plane and hit uh, GX and we'll just completely cover up our camera's view just until this little tip the little edge is right next to that that the tip of the camera here and we'll change our down here in the timeline we'll change our start frame to zero because you know and then we'll hit uh, I to insert a location keyframe with our big holdout plane selected and then we'll go to like frame 30 I guess uh, maybe frame 15 frame 15 yeah sure and then we'll uh, hit GX until the 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 plane is about right here and then hit I location then on frame about 40 we'll hit GX and then we'll go until just the bottom tip corner is right out of the camera there so hit I lo location sorry not rotation location if we play this now you can see now we have a pretty nice smooth animation here, but I want to smooth it out a bit more uh, by going to the uh, the scene tab here and changing the frame rate to 60 now it's much smoother Oh yeah, a little too fast though, so I'll go to the first frame, which is zero, make sure all of our keyframes are selected and they're all yellow by double tapping A until they are, and then an S, and we'll just scale this up, maybe we'll have the last frame end on 70 instead, a lot slower now, I want to move this frame right here, the 70 frame to 100, make that happen slower, there we go, uh, maybe, even, maybe, maybe even more slow, so 150 maybe, I want that to kind of... Yeah, I wanted to kind of hit G to move the keyframes around, by the way. There we go. That looks good. I like that. Super smooth, super clean. I want to go ahead and turn my overlays off by hitting this little button up here. And then go to Render Viewport Shading. And then go to the World tab and change our color to black. And then go to the uh, to the, the Scene tab here. Go to Film. And then check Transparent. Now you can see, if we go back to the first frame here, and then hit Play, that we have Transparency. Uh, everywhere that that big plane was because we have that holdout shader selected now you can see something really cool over here if I were to scale our camera over just a wee bit like like so thusly and then select our holdout I don't think it goes that yeah it doesn't go far enough so we'll hit GX and move it over just a little bit more hit location 
And now you can see if we were to do something like this, not only do we have this cool transparent like wiping effect over here, right? We have all this cool stuff, but it, we also have this really cool like hard edge that forms because this is the end of the plane. So you can see if I go back to solid viewport chain, this is what's happening here. So uh, material mode real quick. Uh, you can see all what the black is. The black is indicating the holdout shader and the transparency. So it's gonna gonna come all the way down. Now you can see the line forming down the middle there, which is just the coolest. And then it just it looks really good. I just love this so much. It just looks awesome, and uh, it works for a lot of different things. You can use this for intros. You can use this for uh, just graphics in general. You can use this for uh, maybe you're doing some kind of ad promo, something, anything doesn't matter. Uh, this is, uh, works especially great for intros, though. I, I got to tell you, um, done so many intros this way. Um, but yeah, this is just it's it's just really cool. Now we can do something even cooler if we go to this plane right here, hit Tab to go into Edit Mode, and then select this bottom vertice right here, and then hit G X. We can kind of slant this over just a little bit. Like that so there's a little bit of an edge to it and we have to grab this uh plane once more time and then hit g x move it over and then i location so there we go now you can see we have this nice little slant to it, which this makes makes this look even cooler um and you can do this as much as you want like i said um so it's just really cool and then we can also have this plane come back so the holdout shader plane can come back so we'll grab this uh vertice actually we'll grab this one first we'll grab this vertice on, on, on 120 hit shift d to duplicate this and put this on maybe 220 and then grab this keyframe the second one on what frame is that 36 26 yeah shift d duplicate that and put it about right here and then hit uh zero and then shift d put it on the last frame which is 250 so now uh hit g to move that over a little bit we have the uh, holdout shader coming in like that and then we have it also leaving which is the coolest so it comes in it leaves if i select our camera our camera our camera and go to uh, viewport display and turn this all the way up you can see uh we have some really really cool stuff now scene tab viewport denoising also off all right awesome so now the thing you're going to want to make sure you do when you render this is now we have this like cool little diamond thing coming down which is just so cool uh make, the thing you have to do when you uh render this you cannot render this regularly you have to actually go down and of course you want a video format so ffmpg you have to uh open up encoding here and go to video codec and change this to ffmpeg video codec number one and then we're going to go ahead and check RGBA. Black and white is BW, black and white RGB is red, green, blue for color, and then RGBA is red, green, blue alpha. So if you don't have the alpha checked, then when this renders, you will not actually have this be transparent. So if I were to render that without that being trans, without that having that A, it will not be transparent. You would have wasted your entire time, and now you have to do it again. So those are some cool things you can do with the holdout shader kind of uh, effect and just really cool motion graphic type of thing hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it i will see you in the next one hold out shader but until then <laughs> bye bye